such a situation an unwanted bit of history for a man who still hopes to be president again. Our North America editor Sam Smith was outside court in Miami, so we'll speak to her. And we'll hear too from Richard Painter, a former chief White House ethics advisor under another Republican administration. We have a BBC investigation into the torture of Afghan refugees kidnapped at the border between Iran and Turkey. Then we're going to speak to the Sultan of Slow Jamistan, the radio DJ who set up their own unrecognized country in the California desert. That's all of the latest world news. This is Danielle Yarovietska with the BBC News. Hello. Donald Trump has given a defiant rally style speech to his supporters in New Jersey following his second court appearance in three months. Speaking from his golf club in New Jersey, Mr. Trump dismissed the latest set of indictments put to him at a courthouse in Miami as a political witch hunt. Our North America correspondent David Willis has been listening to the former president's speech. Addressing supporters at the club, uh, Donald Trump launched a very defiant defense of his decision to withhold more than a hundred classified documents that were recovered from his Mar-a-Lago estate. He called special counsel's decision to bring charges against him the most evil and heinous abuse of power in history, and he accused the FBI of staging photographs of boxes of classified documents that were found there at Mar-a-Lago. Japanese police have arrested a teenage soldier on suspicion of murder after two people were shot dead and another was wounded at an army firing range. The 18-year-old male suspect allegedly turned his rifle on fellow members of Japan's self-defense force at the Hino Range in the central Japanese prefecture of Gifu. There are no reports of civilian casualties in the incident. Sama Halil reports from Tokyo. Japan's Ministry of Defense has said that an 18-year-old military trainee has been arrested after he allegedly fired a rifle at three soldiers at a military shooting range in Gifu province. Footage from Japan's broadcaster NHK showed several ambulances and emergency staff at the firing range. There were no reports of civilian casualties. The motive is still unclear. Shootings are extremely rare in Japan, where gun ownership is tightly regulated, and where anyone seeking to own a gun must go through a rigorous vetting process. The United Nations says the number of people forced to flee their homes has reached a new record. The UN Refugee Agency said the number of people displaced rose by almost 10 million from last year. The UNHCR appealed for urgent and united action to support refugees from the displaced and to tackle the reasons people are forced to flee in the first place. From Geneva, here's Imogen Folks. War in Ukraine and now in Sudan has driven the number of displaced to a record of 110 million. Meanwhile, long-term conflicts in 